Our body cells are continuously monitored by our own immune system. This system aims to detect and eliminate all potential aggressions to our body, like infections by bacteria or viruses or the presence of cancer cells. This defense is provided by cells circulating in the blood called white blood cells through two main mechanisms, the innate immune system and the adaptive or acquired immune system. Cells from the innate immune system are the ones we all possess from birth. It constitutes the first line of defense against external aggressions by recognizing specific signals indicating the presence of abnormal cells or infections. It works like a filter that captures a large number of the aggressors. Natural killer cells called NK cells belong to this innate system. Their primary role is the surveillance, early detection, elimination of aggressions, and alert the second line of defense to come to the rescue in case the first line is overwhelmed. NK cells use receptors, which are proteins present on their surface, to distinguish sick cells from normal cells. These receptors recognize and bind specific targets called ligands, which are also proteins expressed by sick cells, somewhat like a magnet is drawn to a metal mass. T lymphocytes, or T cells, another type of white blood cells, belong to the adaptive immune system. They identify and eliminate cancer cells that express at their surface a molecule specific for a certain type of cancer called tumor antigen. As T cells keep memory of all the aggressions they encountered, they will react more rapidly and efficiently if the same kind of cancer cells reappear in the future. This memory response of the adaptive immune system is exploited in vaccination. The immune system defense works pretty well, but certain cancer cells are sometimes able to escape from its surveillance. Consequently, this allows the cancer to further develop. If we can improve the capacity of the immune system to recognize and destroy cancer cells, the cancer would be eliminated from the body. This is the principle of the NCAR T-therapy from Celiad.